What's up guys? Welcome to Man About Cake. I'm Joshua John Russell, your host, and today this man is about marble cakes. It's a super trendy technique that's popping up all over the internet, and there's a couple of ways that you can do this. I'm gonna show you my easy way to get the most dramatic effect. Now we're gonna start with three tiers of marble cake. We're gonna cut them and fill them with Swiss meringue buttercream, and then we're gonna do some marbling. Let's do it. All right, for the first step, I'm gonna take the dome off the tops of the cakes, and then I'm gonna slice them in half. Hey, uh, Joshua, what's that sound I keep hearing? It's so weird, it's the creepiest sound. That's moisture you're hearing, delicious moisture. I will do the same thing on the side, I'm just gonna come down halfway. Now I'm gonna do the same thing to this one. Now to build the cake, I'm actually going to be marbleizing the filling as well. By the way, the cakes are marbled. This is just my vanilla cake batter and my chocolate cake batter swirled together in the pan. If you wanna get the recipes, click the eye above me or you can find the link in the description box. So we're gonna add a little bit of Swiss meringue buttercream. I'm gonna smear this all over the one layer and then we're gonna go back with some drizzly chocolate. It'll actually give a nice crunch too. And then I'm gonna take a skewer and marble it. This is the point where all y'all go, ooh. Ooh. Oh, thank, thanks. Buttercream. And drizzly chocolate. Can we add a sound effect when I plop? Definitely. <laughs> now we're gonna let this baby chill for about an hour and then we'll come back and do a crumb coat. This is how I feel at every party I go to that has no cake, by the way. That's <laughs> exactly where they go. <laughs> okay, can we, we'll be serious now. All right, now that the crumb coat is chilled, we're gonna put on the final coat and put it back in the cooler. Okay, now let's talk about marbling. Like I said before, there are two ways you can do this. I'm gonna show you both of the ways, and I'm gonna show you my easy trick to get the most dramatic result. The first way is to actually just take a little bit of gel color and add it to a little bit of fondant, just like you would if you were dyeing fondant. So as we start to knead, you'll see the color start to come around. You would stop at that point, and then you would roll that out. Now the second way is actually to take three different colors of fondant and marble them together with no gel color. So what you would do is actually take your predominant color, which is white, roll it into a log, then we're gonna take this teal color, roll it into a log, and then our last color is this light yellow color, roll that into a log. You call this the three log method? The three log method, why not? You could do multiple logs. So at this point, you would take this, twist it up, and roll it out. That's the second way. I like to use both of the techniques at the same time. Groundbreaking. So I'm actually gonna take the piece that I had a little bit of gel color added to, and I'm gonna add a little gel color to this piece, and then we're gonna twist all of it up together and roll it out. This will give us some really cool dramatic sort of streaks in the marbleization. Now let's mash it all together and work out some of that rage. So now that we have a smooth mass, I can kind of see some of the color variations. The thing is, I don't really know what I'm gonna get until I roll it out. Kind of like buying something on Craigslist. I will buy something, I'm like, I can't wait till this mold comes, and it's like, here's your butterfly mold. I'm like, oh great. <laughs> this was $100? This is not two inches! So we're gonna roll it out and see what it looks like. Oh, it's gonna be. All right, now I got it rolled to the thickness that I want. Let's quickly cover this cake. So I'm just securing the top edge first, straightening out the wrinkles. I have a little cornstarch on my hands because they get really hot. This will keep them from sticking to the fondant. Now that the fondant's on the cake, I'm just gonna cut the excess away with an X-Acto knife. So I've repeated the marbling on two other tiers. Now it's time to stack. I'm gonna use bubble tea straws for this. So I'm using six bubble tea straws, just spacing them evenly in a circle to support the tier above. Now I'm gonna use royal icing to stack the tiers together. This icing knows the queen. Now the cake is all done and stacked. She's kind of too beautiful to, to decorate. Marble mouth. <laughs> just take your time. No, what's happening? 
So now that the cake is done and stacked, it's kind of too beautiful to decorate. So what I'm gonna do is add some bling ribbon with a little bit of piping gel and a couple of flowers and we'll be done. With the paintbrush, I'm just gonna add a little bit of piping gel to the back of the ribbon so that it sticks. Now she's really iced out. Oh my God, please don't use that. Oops. If you're sagging, you gotta go. What do you guys think? Thank you for joining me on this episode of Man About Cake. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Like the video and also please subscribe because I will bring you a new cake every week. So now, let's calm her down and eat some cake. Doesn't taste like marbles at all.